Sing Xiao, what's up everybody? We are in Saigon on a Thursday night. It is wet out. That's what we're gonna talk about in this video. We're gonna talk about weather. We're gonna talk about weather. We're gonna talk about the rainy season. I don't know the exact dates. Every website's a little bit conflicting on what their exact dates for the rainy season are. In my opinion, we're in the rainy season now for Saigon. It changes for Da Nang, it changes for Nha Chang, it changes for all these things. So first things first, if, if you really want to be out and about and doing stuff all day long in Saigon, right now is not the time to come. This is a bad time for out and about exploring all day long. It has rained every day for the past three weeks from about 2 p.m. on to, I mean, it's seven. Hello, it's seven. Let's stop this restaurant. It's 7.30 now, so five hours, and it just barely stopped raining. And it's been doing that pretty much every day. So if you came now during the rainy season, which is now in Saigon, you'd have to do everything before 2 p.m. I'm not a morning guy. I know a lot of you guys are. I certainly do not wake up early in the morning. So for me, it's not an option to, to go up, like do shit before 2. I get all my working out, cleaning, and everything done by 2 p.m. And then I start doing actual like shit at about 2 p.m. every day. It's kind of the way my schedule works. So yeah, you just know, you know, uh, there's plenty of stuff to do here, but you need to plan your trip according to the rain. You need to, to calculate and, and examine stuff. You need to go, well, if, if you're gonna, especially gonna be somebody that's out exploring. Like if you wanna go out exploring and doing all kinds of shit and have a crazy nightlife when you're here, it's not gonna be right now, not in this month. Or I think the month before or next month. I think it's kind of like the the hardcore rainy season. It, dude, it says all different shit. Some websites say it's like 10 months out of the year is the rainy season. This now what we're in, this consistent five hour block of window of rain is a problematic rainy season. At least for me anyways. Now the rest of the rainy season for the most part, that's what you have to do is you have to decipher the rainy season. The rest of the rainy season, it only rains for like 20 minutes at a time. 10 minutes at a time that's not a big deal right but it wouldn't, wouldn't it be raining you know uh for four or five three hours solid every day that's the problem you know we've talked about it on other videos i just did one not too long ago what to do during the rain so we're not going to focus too much on that the more thing that this video is you need to do your homework before you book your trip if you want to be outside like if you want to optimize your dates for Da Nang, for what dates are best, you need to plug in. Hold on. Hold on. No rain, Da Nang. Let's see. No rain, Da Nang. Season. Da Nang's climate it is divided into two primary seasons, a dry season spanning from February to August and a monsoon season from September to January. So now is the time to be in Da Nang. I've gone now and you get a little bit of rain, but like that's all you have to do is just type in no rain and then whatever the city is. So like Da Nang, for example, is dry from February to August and a monsoon from September to January, which is true because I've been there in January and it rained the whole time. I've been there in all different seasons. So like, let's look up no rain in a chain. The rainy season in the Chang starts in October and ends in December. And sometimes it starts early, earlier in August. So like, that's all you gotta do. Is that gonna be accurate? No, but like, you don't wanna be going to these places. I've been to Nachang during the rainy season. Lovely place. So they're all great places, but like if you're planning the trip to go for sun and a beach, then yeah, you need to accordingly open up your stuff. Like, let's see what Saigon's officially is. No rain. I won't remember any of this information. Ho Chi Minh City weather in the dry season, December to April. The dry season takes place from December to April. This is also the best time to visit Saigon, and Saigon weather is quite dry with little rain during the period, making it convenient to get to different destinations. So pretty much now, like May, June, July, 
May, June, July, all the way to December. This is supposedly the rainy season, but I'm here to tell you that's not really true. It's kind of really just June and July, and then it tapers off. Like really, it's just this month and next month to where it'll rain these three to five hours a day here in Saigon. So, I mean, it depends. Like for me, when I used to travel here, I'd come during the rain and it wouldn't bother me because I've always been the same. I don't get going doing shit till like 2 p.m. And why would I care if it's raining at 2 p.m. and it's only gonna rain three or four more hours? I'll go find a mall and we'll walk around, or go to a bar and drink beer and watch TV or some shit. Plenty of stuff to do until that shit can be figured out, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know why we're going this way. We're going this way. Let's go this way. There used to be the Mexican restaurant up here. It moved out, they moved somewhere else. Cafe, on, Cafe Amazon, Amazon took over. A lot of these businesses never really stay in effect in this area. It's a tough area to do business, unless you're like a farm city or Anna Market or like a GS Mart. Like it's, it's tough to, to do well here. It's just not a great location. And that sounds weird. You'd be like, really? This is not a great location? It's not the best. Most of the tourist walking is done over here. So you don't get as much foot traffic as you think. The parking's kind of shit in this area. It's congested all the time. It's not as, it's not as great as you think. There's a lot of turnover here. That's why Posh was never going to work anyways, as far as I'm concerned. So let's check Hanoi rainy season. May to October is hot and humid with high rainfall. So May to October. Damn. April is cooler and dry. November to April is cooler to dry. So I mean, those are your different seasons. You need to plan your stuff according to it, you know? If you wanna hear me talk about all the drama that's been going on in the live streaming atmosphere in Thailand, I have uh, a Patreon video where I talk all about what I think's going on with those guys. Do I think it's legit? Do what I think they did was right or wrong in uh, Thailand? And I'm mainly talking about like Ice Poseidon, and a few other of the guys over there. So if you want to see that, there's also all kinds of other stuff on Patreon that we do. Like Patreon has a lot of additional content. And on Patreon, we do a lot of different stuff. We shoot videos about different things. We talk about different things. You have direct access to me as well. So on Patreon, you can actually DM me and talk to me. And then if you want to go on a tour, you can also book me for a tour. We go on the tour and you pay what you want at the end. There's no set fee for the tours. So yeah, you gotta be careful of the rainy season. It can get you, it can make it to where, you know, there's solid sheets of time during the day right now where you can't really go anywhere. The city does shut down when it rains. It's difficult to get a ride. It's difficult to get a taxi. It's difficult to get a grab. It's difficult to order food for takeout. So I mean, it is a time and when things kind of shut down. So you have to be aware of that. You have to understand that that's gonna happen. This is the EV car. Oh, let me put this for the thumbnail. For today's video. 841 for the next video I'm doing, the EV. Which is a great video. I think you guys will really like the EV video. Again, with the farm cities, I think they're really overpriced. Go to a local pharmacy. They'll have the same medicine with the same company for 20% less. Farm city charges quite a bit more because they have a large overhead with the places that they rent. All right, guys, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to watch me live stream, I'll be doing all my live streaming over at kick.com forward slash fat and broke. All the live streaming we get done on kick.com forward slash fat and broke. We are splitting it on YouTube right now, but there will be a day coming up soon where it will only be visible on kick.com. We will be doing a lot of live streaming. If you want to hear all about the update to that, that's over on Patreon. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Stay frosty. Peace out.